I'm Matt. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm going to do a trick with you that involves a calculator and my incredible magical mental ability. Now, uh, normally, if I was just trying to impress you, I would ask you to enter a random three-digit number into this calculator. However, uh, I'm not just trying to impress you. There are other people watching, and they may not trust uh, that we haven't just organized this beforehand. So I've brought with me a uh, deck of cards, and I've just left in all the single-digit cards. I'm going to uh, give these a bit of a shuffle. And in fact, you can give them a shuffle as well. We want everyone to be uh, convinced there's no way we could possibly know the order. Actually, do you want to cut the cards a few times until you're happy there, because they're quite random? Perfect. Nice. Yep, move them around. And once you're happy, to give them one last cut for good luck, just in case. Okay, so there's no way you could know, put that on top, what they're going to be. Uh, I'm going to uh, uh, close my eyes, and what I want you to do without me seeing is uh, enter into this calculator, pick up the first one, enter that digit, the next one, next digit, next one, next digit. You'll have a three-digit number, and then I want you to enter the same digits in again. So you end up with a six-digit number, which is the same three digits, then the same three digits. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Okay, here we go. Right, so I'm not looking. Okay, have a look at the first card. Okay, enter that one. And the next one. And the next one. Okay, and can you re-enter in the same order those three digits again? All, all done? Yep. Okay, so there's now a six-digit number on that screen that I can't see. But I'm going to try and make some predictions about that number. I, I suspect it's probably... Was it even or not? I reckon, I reckon it's probably a multiple of 13. I reckon if you hit divide by 13, you'll get a whole number answer. Have a go. See if I'm right. Is it, is it multiple of 13? It is. Okay, excellent. Okay, I can do more than that. I reckon it's probably also a multiple of what other prime factors could it have? Seven. Try seven. Is it a multiple of seven? So divide seven. The number I have. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, hit divide. Seven equals. Is it a whole number? Yeah. All right, all right. Give me one more. Um, I reckon it's also a multiple of 11. Try that. Try divide by 11. Is it a whole number? Excellent. And what's the, the final whole number? The number we have. Is it the starting number you start? There you are. So that's my incredible mental maths magic ability. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to explain how that number trick works. And I should mention at the very beginning, you don't need to use the cards. The only reason I did this with a, with a deck of cards to pick the three-digit number is if people watch a magic trick in a video, they assume that the volunteer, we could have just, well, we could have organized what number he was going to pick. So the cards show that it was a random number. And if you do this with a live volunteer, then just ask them, pick any random three-digit number. But for our purposes, I'll do another one with the cards very quickly. So let's say so we do one, four, six. Now, this is a random number, and uh, your volunteer will give you some random number. And I had no idea if this was going to be an even number, I'd, what factors it would have. It could be a prime number, and I'd be very excited if it was. Uh, but what I get them to do is to enter it into the calculator twice. And that's the sneaky bit. Because one, four, six, one, four, six, I now do know some things about that, because entering an, a three-digit number in twice is the same as multiplying it by a thousand and one. So actually what I can do is clear this, and if I put in my uh, 146 again, 146, and hit multiply 1001, and hit equals, I get 146, 146. So I now know whatever their three-digit number was, it's now a multiple of 1001. And 1,001, its prime factors are 7, 11, and 13. So I now know that whatever this number is, it will have the factors 7, 11, and 13. In fact, if you divide by all of them, it's the same as dividing by 1,001, and you'll get back to the original three-digit number. So there you are. It, it, it's a self-working trick. All you need to do is get a volunteer, a calculator, and remember 7, 11, 13. For further teaching resources, brilliant videos, and of course, more amazing mathematics, go along to mathematicalmagic.com. <laughs>